Elliot with bloggingintnovation.com here with Alan Lee of Fourth Wall Studios. Just uh, want to chat here today a little bit about uh, storytelling and how that relates to some of the new, new platforms that are coming out and the, and the challenges of understanding new uh, storytelling platforms and then also uh, how difficult it can be and what some of the keys are to helping people understand a new idea. So first, if you could tell me a little bit about Fourth Wall. Sure. Um, uh, Fourth Wall Studios is uh, a startup studio that I started with some friends of mine, Sean Stewart and Jim Stewartson. And um, the basic idea behind Fourth Wall is to really explore what it means to tell next generation stories. We are a storytelling design firm. And um, we, we play around with how do you use your life as part of the storytelling experience? So for example, let's say you're watching uh, a show on TV and there's a character on the screen and he's in his living room and uh, you're watching through like a hidden surveillance camera and you feel really cool because you're like a spy and you're watching and he doesn't know you're watching and uh, maybe you watch him walk across the room to a phone and he picks up the phone to make a phone call and the next moment the cell phone in your pocket starts ringing because the character is calling you. And characters can send you emails and text messages and social media events and use the elements of your life as part of the storytelling experience so that these worlds are not something you sit back and passively watch. They're something you lean forward and actively live in and participate with the characters. So when you, when you talk about actively participating and, and making people feel part of the, the conversation or the experience, um, and you think about maybe a new idea, how how does, in your mind, storytelling help people understand a new idea and to accept something that may be outside their comfort zone? Well, the easiest way to convey any story or any new idea is through, uh, I believe, is through good narrative. Um, we human beings are so receptive to stories. Um, we are unique in that no other animal tells stories. And also, every known culture of humanity tell stories. There are, there, there's no such thing as a society that does not tell stories. And so we use them to pass on information and to pass on new ideas and to pass on wisdom. And um, the tools that we use get more and more effective at conveying what essentially turns out to be very complex concepts. Um, but stories let us relate to them. And they let us, uh, rather than someone preaching down at you, they let you become friends with someone or voyeuristically maybe watch their existence so that you feel like it's not a lesson so much you're learning as, as much as an experience that you're sharing with another individual. And so as you, as you look to, to share that experience and that story with an individual, what are some of the, the pitfalls in your mind or the, the places where people trip up in trying to tell a good story? Um, I think, to me, every, every good story centers around the storyteller's ability to put themselves in the shoes of the audience. And um, you really, as words come out of your mouth, you have to think about what it would be like to hear those words for the very first time. And that often is going to help you set the stage correctly. It's going to help you um, really explain ideas that you've said to yourself so many times that you almost don't hear them anymore. Uh, but suddenly you can explain them, open that box up a little bit and, and let people in. Um, I think as far as internet storytelling goes, next generation storytelling, um, one of the biggest pitfalls I see is being too invasive people hear transmedia experiences, right? Things that use your email and cell phone and Twitter and social networks, and they think, oh, we're just gonna shove that at people. Uh -huh. And it's so hazardous because if an audience does not invite the content in, and it's instead it's shoved at them, then they're going to block it and they put up their guard and, and it's, it's a terrible, terrible experience. And so a lot of storytellers become so enamored with the idea that they can do all these things that they use that as an excuse to do those things without thinking it through. So as you look forward and you look to some of the new capabilities that we may gain on the, the internet, um, what are some of the things that you're really excited about coming soon or that have already started to arrive that you can use to extend your, your conversation? Um, I am, the two big things I'm most excited with, and you see these in a lot of products, one is the idea of local fame and the other is the idea of collections. Local fame in that it's becoming much easier for each and every one of us, excuse me, um, to be a rock star, to like, to brag and to show off 
uh, the things that we've accomplished to show competitive leaderboards, not in a global sense, but just among your, your group of friends, and to show the things that you are passionate about. And when I say local fame, the, there's those two words in there. Local means to the people who you care about. Right. And fame means here's the things that you actually get to say, hey, I'm good at this. Um, so as stories, as the tool sets come out that, you know, Facebook is a great example of this, as those tool sets start to allow us um, to achieve a sense of local fame, man, the stories get so good because people want to actively participate in them. Uh, the other thing is collections, um, and we see this a lot in game design now. Um, uh, you know, uh, the, probably the best example is Farmville, right? This is a, a huge group of people running around collecting virtual items. Um, Foursquare, Gowalla, where you're collecting virtual locations, all of these concepts uh, that allow people to go out into the world, real or virtual, but more importantly, their lives, and start to find bits and pieces and feel compelled to collect them, put them together into a greater, uh, a larger whole. Um, that is so ripe for storytelling, and I think we're going to start to see some of the most innovative ideas come out of those mechanics. Great. Well, that's very interesting, Alon, and enjoy the, the conversation. And once again, this has been Alon Lee of Fourth Wall Studios and Braden Kelly of bloggingintnovation.com.